Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make some really awesome text like shown in the thumbnail super easily. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you're at photopea.com, go ahead and make your project. The size doesn't matter. Just do whatever you need to do. I'm just gonna do 1280 by 720. And here we go. Hit create and we have our white canvas to start. I'm just gonna double click on that background layer and add a gradient overlay. This is just gonna help so we can see the text. I'm just gonna do a red background. This will be a darker red, this will be a lighter red. There we go. Now we got our background and we can start making our text. So go ahead and get your text tool over here. Click anywhere on your canvas and type in whatever you want. So I'm just gonna type in awesome. Hit control A to select it all and we'll make it bigger. Now I'm gonna change the font up here to luckiest guy because it works pretty good. And I'm just gonna move that with my move tool over here to the center. And I'm gonna hit control and J to duplicate. I'm gonna move it down. And this time I'm gonna type in text. Let's move that to the center. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to add the color to this text. So I'm gonna double click on awesome and change it to red. And I'm going to do the same for text, but instead of red, I'm going to do white. And we're going to go ahead and click on the awesome layer, double click on it, and we're going to add some satin to it. Turn the opacity down just a little bit to about 20%. Do the same for text. Okay. And now we're ready to start adding some lines to it. After we do one more thing, I almost forgot. Double click on awesome or whatever your top text is. Go up to warp. Change the style to arc and just have a little bit of bend. It'll make it look better. Move it above that text and looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and search up lines PNG. And I'm going to go to my tools. Once I go to images, go to tools, change the color to transparent. And I'm just going to use these ones right here. So I'm just going to copy this. Control V to paste. And now we got the lines. So what we can do is we can make it a clipping mask. So click on it with your right click and click clipping mask. You can see there's lines on it now. Now Control J to duplicate that and move it above awesome. So they each have one. But for the awesome, we're just going to make the color red, but a little bit darker like that. Do the same for the white, but make it gray. Okay, see it's coming together pretty good. Now hold shift and select all of it or control. Right click on one of them and convert it to a smart object. I'll double click on that new layer and go to stroke. We're just gonna add a thick black stroke. Go black, make the thickness bigger to about 15. Now hit this plus sign next to the stroke and we're going to add a white stroke now. Go like this. Okay. See it's coming together pretty good. Now we're going to add a drop shadow. Turn the angle to 90 degrees. Turn the spread all the way up to 100%. Change the blend mode to normal and turn the opacity all the way up. And the size, you can turn that up too. And the distance you can adjust if you want. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. And that's all there is to it. It looks super awesome. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Super easy to make. I hope it helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. I make a lot of other videos like this. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.